Hello everyone, this is Matthew with Gorilla Dynamics. Today I'm going to show you a little bit about our new product called the TAC MK1 as part of the larger offering called the TAC PMK1, which is an all-in-one TAC-in-the-box solution ready to deploy in a moment's notice. What we have here is a relatively simple build of a 20,000 milliamp battery. Uh, I believe the brand is Anker with a GeoLineNet router with an external uh, antenna here, which you know you can route it outside of the uh, the Pelican 1060 case if need be for longer range. We also have here a Banana Pi M4. So now you're probably asking, why aren't we using a Raspberry Pi or you know something else like that? And the simple answer is. The Raspberry Pi relies on an SD card in order to boot the operating system. If that SD card becomes corrupted, damaged, or anything like that, you're out of luck. You'd have to program another one, and that's pretty hard to do on the fly unless you have everything ready to go for that type of scenario. So what I came up with here is a Banana Pi M4, and the reason behind the Banana Pi is it has an 8 gig eMMC internal storage chip on the board ready to go at all times, as well as an SD card slot in the rear for external storage. The premise is you don't have to worry about unplugging, rebooting, and uh, any other kind of operation on this board because the operating system should stay intact. You don't have to worry about the SD card failure. So on top of that, we're running uh, Ubuntu 18 server, which is very generic to run on here, nothing too crazy. Uh, you know, I'd like to run Debian or some other uh, smaller OS, maybe Alpine. But what we're doing on there is now running Docker on top and Docker is a containerized platform which allows you to install services pretty quickly uh, without too much knowledge and get deployment fast. So we have FTS deployed on Docker on top of this board. Everything boots automatically. Uh, the data is in a persistent volume so you don't have to worry about updating the, uh, the package or anything like that and losing data. Uh, the router is powered by the Banana Pi over USB and the Banana Pi is powered over USB by the uh, 20,000 milliamp battery here. So the router's purpose in this is to provide uh, local connection to the Banana Pi server, the TAC server, over a Wi-Fi hotspot. Alternatively, it connects back to an existing wireless network and creates a, uh, not a repeater, but an access point essentially, where any device connected over Ethernet is now part of that uh, existing wireless network. You know, and then I have all the ports forwarded through the router, so all the tax services and everything else is seen on, on this IP address on your LAN. So essentially, what we have is a fully deployable tack in the box solution that is weatherproof and lasts a bit over 24 hours with a 20,000 milliamp battery. And uh, what I'm working on is the next version with inlet glands for the rear for Ethernet and a USB charger for the power bank. And this thing will be fully deployable. All you need, uh, all you have to do there further is pretty much find a nice mounting kit, maybe a molly strap system for this, or however you're going to mount it, maybe just some paracord. Uh, and, and obviously, I'm going to use an all black case, not this clear stuff, unless you can specifically request it. So, as a demo here, I have a Samsung Galaxy X Cover Pro that I have provisioned in order to use this software. So the first thing I'd like to deploy is ATAC. And what's really nice about this phone is you can just tap a button here and it should launch ATAC right away. There we go. And you can see here we're on the 4G connected over a VPN network. And that VPN is zero tier. We have booting on launch. You can see we have our position up there. And you can see if we come here. Oops, that's markers. If we come over to people, I have another client running another Galaxy X Cover Pro. And you can see them live on the map here. And they're using 4G to connect to this TAC server. As well as zero tier to connect back. So the TAC in the box is connecting to my existing wireless network at my office and it piggybacks that connection over to the Banana Pi. From there, it uses the VPN to connect. So as long as this is connected to the internet in any way, shape, or form, whether you have a USB 4G modem router connected to here, 
or you're using an Ethernet uplink to uh, your existing network, or you're using a wireless uplink to your existing network. As long as this has internet connectivity, you'll be able to see it on the zero tier network, as long as the Android phone is connected to the zero tier network. The other benefit of running a server is we also have push to talk comms. So aside from the TAC button opening up here, we have a hold to talk button right here that'll open up Mumla, which is a uh, open source mobile client for Android, and will allow us to uh, talk to the other operators on the zero tier network. Here's the demonstration. Hello, I am doing a test on the zero tier network using Mumla on the private uh, TAC server running over uh, VPN, 4G, etc. Just making sure you can hear me fine. Give me a go ahead if you hear that. Yeah, coming in uh, loud and clear. Over. Excellent. As you can see, the push to talk works great. It even works when the screen is locked as long as the screen is on. That's the only limitation I have so far. If we can do this when the screen is off, it's a perfect device. Here's the lock screen. Hold the push to talk button, and as soon as it comes on here, we're live on the uh, on the air here. And it's it's a great piece of equipment. So you can see we have the TAC server running, we have the Mumble server running, all on this portable embedded system. We can sling this up in a tree, we can connect this into a backpack system, whatever you want, and you have a TAC in the box with about 24 hours of battery life on a 20,000 uh, milliamp portable battery. Thanks again for checking out my video. If you want to check out the product, it's going to be located at GorillaDynamics.com. You could also talk to me in the Discord ATAC server. You can find more of that on uh, freetaxserver.com. I may have gotten that URL wrong. I'll correct that toward the end in the description. Uh, yeah, everything else is, is pretty much a work in progress. We're getting some of these out in deployment. This one's been up for about a week, uh, you know, charging it on and off every other day or so. But uh, I intend to get the glands going in relatively soon in the next couple days here and uh, have something that's fully deployable and ready to go for other operators in uh, many environments such as MilSim, fire, search and rescue, whatever operation you're using ATAC for. This will eliminate the gap for installing your own server or running private servers in the cloud. It eliminates all of that. You have it all in one self-contained unit. Thanks again. You can check it out at GorillaDynamics.com, G-U-E-R-R-I-L-L-A, Dynamics. Thanks again.